A simple self-improvement technique. Nowadays, there is a growing interest in self-growth and self-improvement techniques. There is a growing number of books, articles and websites dealing with these topics, it seems that people are turning within them, to find the solution to their problems. They seek knowledge, techniques, workshops, lectures, and teachers, who can show them the way, people are beginning to understand that self-improvement and self-growth can improve the quality of their lives. The process of inner change requires inner work. It is not enough to read articles and books. You also have to practice what you read. Inner change requires motivation, desire, ambition, perseverance and dedication. When you starting with a self-improvement program, it is common to encounter inner resistance that comes from your old habits and from your subconscious mind, and also resistance and opposition from the people around you. The desire to change, build new habits, and to improve yourself must be strong enough to resist laziness, the tendency to give up, and the fear and ridicule of opposition from family, friends or colleagues. Let me tell you something about myself. I have been attracted to self-improvement from an early age, and have regarded it as a source of inner strength and happiness, and as a way to improve my life. One of the most useful techniques I discovered and used, was a simple, but very effective technique. It consisted of watching how people behave and act in various situations, and then looking inside myself, to find out whether I behaved in the same way under the same conditions. 1. When I saw people with certain traits of character, or a certain kind of behavior that I did not like, I examined myself to find out whether I possessed those traits of character too. 2. If I did, I visualized in my mind a different sort of behavior. In my mind's eye, I saw myself with the opposite traits of character. I visualized myself in various situations, in which I manifested the new behavior. 3. When I encountered traits of character or behavior, which I liked, I used to think about their advantages and benefits, and about their importance in my life. Here too, I used visualization and affirmations, and strived to enact them in my daily life. In this way, I learned and benefited a lot from the behavior and actions of the people around me, at work, at home, on the street, and everywhere else. This exercise was never for the purpose of judging other people or taking advantage of them, but for learning how to act, react and behave in a better way, this process had another benefit. It increased my knowledge and understanding about how the mind and the emotions affect the behavior and the actions of people. It gave me more understanding of people and their behavior and how to get along better with them. If you start using this self-improvement techniques you will soon see positive changes in your life. Tips for a simple self-improvement technique 1. Look around you look around you and watch how people behave in various circumstances. Watch the people you meet at home, work, at the supermarket, on the bus, train and on the street. You can also watch people being interviewed on TV and learn a great deal about them and about you. 2. Watch the behavior of people Watch how people talk, how they raise their voice or speak calmly. Watch the reactions of people. Look at how people walk, sit and carry their body. You can learn a great deal from watching their behavior. 3. Watch how people treat other people A certain kind of behavior creates certain reactions. Often, how we act and behave, determine how people treat us. Try to be aware of how people act, and how other people treat them. This can help you to determine what change you need to make in your behavior. 4. The effect of the voice Pay attention to the way people use their voice and how they react to other people's voices. Watch how you feel and how you react when people shout, or speak softly. Watch what happens when people get angry, restless and upset, and what happens to you and to others, when they are calm and relaxed. 5. Pay attention to what you do not like If you do not like what you see, analyze why you do not like it. Then, analyze your own behavior to find out, whether you behave in the same way. Be honest and impartial in your analysis. 6. Avoid negative behavior If you discover that you possess some of these undesirable traits of character and behavior that you do not like, affirm to yourself often that every time you catch yourself behaving in this way, you are going to be aware of them, and do your best to avoid them. 7. Use your imagination to build new habits Play in your mind a mental scene of how you would like to act and behave. Repeat this mental scene several times a day, every day, what you imagine in your mind sinks into your subconscious mind and gradually, becomes a habit. 8. Use your imagination to build good habits when you detect in someone character traits or habits you like and desire to possess, try to act in a similar way. Here too, imagine several times each day a scene, where you act and behave in that different, better way. 9. Use visualization often think and visualize over and again in your mind how you would like to act and behave. 
10. Remind yourself of the changes you want to make constantly, remind yourself of the changes you desire to make, and strive to act according to them. Every time that you find yourself acting according to your old habits, remember your decision to change and improve, and act accordingly. Do not be disappointed or frustrated if you do not attain fast results. It does not matter how many times you fail or forget to behave as you desired. Persevere with your efforts and never give up, and you will begin to see how you and your life start changing for the better. You are essentially who you create yourself to be and all that occurs in your life is the result of your own making. Stephen Richards' Change is your friend not your foe, change is a brilliant opportunity to grow. Simon T. Bailey, beginning today, set an intention and a relentless focus on living your life as the greatest person you can be, in all situations. Brendan Burchard, 